What's going on everyone? Games for Days here, back again with another build video, and today we have the Cell Sword Twin Blade build of Doom. So check it out. We're level 151, Vigor's 30, 18 for attunement, endurance is at 40, vitality is at 21, 30 for strength, dex is at 40, intelligence at 9, and faith is at 45. We have three attunement slots. So we have a little bit more dex than strength because it scales with dex a little more than strength. We have the plus 10 uh, twin blades here heading for 341. Not bad. Have the sunlight talisman plus 10 for our casting for our, our... Actually, check this out. We have to do this first. For our fashion souls. This completes the fashion souls. Look at that shit. The golden god. Golden crown. Gunder's armor. Black Iron Gauntlets, and Dragon Scale Wave Claw. Now, it looks pretty fucking sweet, dude. I think the uh, Gunders go real well with that. Sage Ring, plus two. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn, Morn's Ring, and Life Ring, plus two. Let's get into it and see what we can do. Alright, what do we got for our first opponent? Guys, before we get into this new build video, if you end up enjoying it, please drop a like for me down below before you leave. Much appreciated. We have a Butcher's Knife in front of us. Let's do this shit. Come on, Frenchie. We got Frenchies. He didn't even the uh he didn't even do his buff. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Why not use it, man? Every time you get a hit, you get some HP back. Oh, he wants to just stand and trade. I don't know if we are winning out on those, but we're gonna back up a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh shit. You want to fall victim to the sunlight? No, he doesn't, so. Every day that passes, guys, we're coming closer and closer to the Ring City DLC. I'm so excited for that. I can't wait for it. I'm pretty hyped, as you guys saw in my, uh, my hype video. And that's going to end you. Good game, sir. These weapons are pretty badass. At first, they feel a little short. But once you get used to their distance, man, their moveset's pretty sweet. But you gotta be careful about getting parried to death. So if you have your L1 combo, which is really effective, man. It's a three-hit double swing kind of deal. Um, you have your weapon art into the R2, which is a nice little swing. Or you can R2 into the weapon art, which is nice. So you can R2 first, L2 back to R2. Um, there's a lot of mix-up you can do with this. I'd say this is one of the very few weapons where uh, the R2 is actually like a viable thing, too. It comes out pretty fast. But you gotta be careful again if someone has a, uh, you know, a parrying tool out and about. Just be careful for that. Good game! That was an L1 combo. Took him down. We look so golden and mighty. <laughs> oh, shit. So, guys, I fought this guy off camera before I started making the, this video. He's a poised fucking monster, so we're gonna go ahead and give him some lightning steaks. He looks hungry. Let's feed him some steak! Come here, bitch. That's one thing that's uh, extremely difficult. Got him with one, 404. Nice, when you have, you know, facing a poised beast like this, and you have a weapon like mine, is you just get fucked up, man, because you can't really stop them from attacking you, and as soon as you get hit once, twice. Oh, shit, good game. Three stakes dropped him. Like I said, man, he was a poised beast. We had to do it. What do we got here? Dark Moon Blade power! Throw on that blessed weapon. To complete the fashion souls. He's like, oh shit, I didn't know I was fighting a golden god. Oh! See, if you have someone who's a parry master, though, you can throw out the weapon art like I just did to him. 554 damage, throw it back! So the weapon arts, uh, a lot of them aren't parryable. Some weapon arts are. Um, someone said uh, Freed's Great Scythe. That weapon art's parryable. At least the little blue one is. You just gotta have the right timing, but this one is not. Good game, man. As you can see, the damage you can output with this is pretty fucking serious. Good game, dude. I just really like the way that shit looks, man. It looks so fucking sweet. Damn, a lot of Dark Moon Blades. See, it, know what I've been noticing uh, in the last few days? See, I feel like Dark Souls is starting to come alive again. Um, I'm seeing a lot of Dark Moon Blades, and I bet you that's what a lot of people ended off using when they left the game, and now they're coming back to it, maybe, because the, uh, you know, the Ring City's got to be coming out. Like, I was playing through the base game earlier today, guys, and holy fuck summon signs at boss gates, dude. There was, like, summon signs everywhere. I was like, god damn. Dark Souls is, uh... 
back from uh, the dead, so to speak. It was never really dead, though. There's always people playing, but holy shit, I've never seen um, activity so high. There we got, we got him with that R1. See how you can R1 right into that weapon art transition? It's or R2, I'm sorry. Good game. R2, L2, R2. It's a fucking sick ass combo, dude. So this was my first time also using the um, Cell Sword Twin Blades. Murder for hire. Um, but they're pretty fucking sweet. It was either gonna be this or the the Gothard Twin Blades, the Gothard, however the fuck you wanna say it. Oh shit! He tried to parry my buff. <laughs> this fucking guy. Oh man, very nice. That was a great parry, dude. What is that? Is that the fucking washing pole? At least he's not run poking the shit out of me. Oh, got him on the last part of the L1. Fuck! Shit. Stop poking me, man! Oh, shit. Oh, no, we both dropped. Who got it? That's right! Good game, man. Dude, look at this shit, guys. There's just nothing but fucking Dark Moonblade buffs everywhere. What is that? Like, what was that? Every single person I fought so far is using this shit? I don't know. 310 to Yuma, here we go. What is that, the Claymore? Oh, this guy's another one. A fucking poise beast. Just an R1 beast of doom. Oh, he's lucky I don't have a parrying tool. I would have just parried his fucking life away. Nope! Nope! Oh, this is not looking good. Not looking good. I fucking... Oh, here we go. 610, not bad. Fuck. Make a mistake. Oh, we hit him! We took damage too. Holy shit, how are we still fucking alive? Dude, that was a connect. I don't know. Yes! We hit him with that spear. That was weird. Good game, dude. Dun, da, da, da. God damn right we won. I was going to say, let me guess another Dark Moon Blade, but it's not. Oh my god. Look at someone else using a different buff. Can you fucking believe it? Jesus! Sir Pablos? Oh, what the fuck are you going to do? You going to walk up on me, dude? You gonna walk me down? I don't think so. Shit, why not roll backwards? Always roll past the charge uh, weapon art guys. I don't know why the fuck I just rolled backwards. You end up getting fucked. It's over! Good game, man. So I'm wondering, guys, where we're going to be entering the DLC, the Ring City. I'm thinking it's going to be uh, where you fight Soul of Cinder. Because I know some people might already know this. I haven't really researched it. Hey, look, it's Yuma again. But, I mean, what you see, uh, it kind of looks like that area. I don't know. It has to be. Um, but, you know, that's going to be a catch, too. Because then the developers are going to be expecting people to be at the end of the base game. Um... You know, what if they're not and they want to play the DLC? But it's the same thing with Ariandale. You had to get to the fucking uh, cleansing chapel to be able to go into Ariandale. So we'll see. That's why I also need to get... I want to get every single thing uh, unlocked. I just got through what? I'm on New Game Plus 4, I believe. That's what I'm going to be going into the DLC on. Um, you know, once we complete this stuff, we'll go back on New Game Plus 7 later. At a later date, but... For now... Oh, come on. We got it. I was going to say, he rolled right into that shit. Good game, motherfucker! But I'm thinking... I don't know. I'm just... I'm pretty pumped, man. I'm glad that, uh... You know, the developers listened to the feedback about, uh, Arendelle and have decided to treat us with much courtesy. Oh, look at this guy. He's happy as fuck. He's like, oh, yeah. Maybe he knows. He knows my, uh... Do you know? You excited to be on a YouTube video? Oh shit. He has, it looks like he has a parent tool out, but I don't know if he's gonna try it. We'll give him some weapon art madness. Lightning storm! There it is! Alright guys, so listen, if you're new to the channel too, welcome to the channel, man. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen, definitely subscribe. I usually do build videos, things like that. Um, if you're excited for the Ring City, I'm gonna be doing a lot of coverage on that when it comes out. Um, you know, from builds, to weapons, to movesets, to playthrough of the actual game itself, so... Um, I'm pretty fucking pumped, man. This build right here is pretty badass. 
Good game, dude. You guys looking to try out a uh, twin, twin bladed build, man? Give it a go. God damn right. All right, we're gonna make this the last fight of the video, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Again, if you did, leave a thumbs up for me down below. Much appreciated. Another butcher knife. Let's take it to him. Hey, look. Oh my God, it's fucking Trump. You know what we gotta do. You know what we gotta do. Oh shit. He went for that parry immediately. We got a parry king on our hands. How do we deal with parry kings? That's right, boys and girls. Weapon art time. Oh, shit. Back away from the sharp shot blade. It hurts so bad. Take that, motherfucker. Trump's going down. You may be my president, but you will never be my ash in one. Yes. This guy just wants fucking hate coming his way, evidently. And that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the Cell Sword Twin Blade build of Doom. This has been Games for Days. We will see you on the next one. Enjoy the day, guys. Peace.